Hi, welcome back. Um, lately I've been trying to up my casting game. I'm trying to make some manifolds for a V8 engine um, and a thermostat housing. Up until now I've been sort of eyeballing it. Um, you know, you can see when the metal you're putting in is, is melting and, and so on, but really I need some way of measuring it. That's where this comes in. This is a K-type thermocouple, which I've um, bought off Amazon. Um, it's good for 1300 degrees C. Uh, which is pretty hot. Um, I've attached it to a copper tube with a nice wooden handle at the end and then it's got a nice long cable with a K-type connector at the end. That connects into one of these El Cheaper thermometer modules that takes type K thermocouple. Um, again this one's good for 1300 degrees so ideal for what I'm doing. Um, aluminium only really wants to get up to about 650-700 degrees. Uh, brass is a bit hotter. It's not quite good enough for molten iron but um, I'm not planning on doing any iron melting anytime soon. Now you can't just put this metal probe in the aluminium. It will basically get eroded um, over a very short space of time. So in order to protect it, it needs a graphite sleeve. Now I did make one because I had some 12 mil graphite bar left over when I was messing about with some Stirling engines. Um, and it just isn't quite big enough um, to be to have the strength. As you can see, the uh, threaded bit has cracked. Probably doesn't help. This is a taper thread on this fitting here, um, but I need to make sure that it will thread on um, and not crack out. So I've bought a larger bit of bar. This is 16 millimeters diameter. This should be good enough. So today I'm going to make a little sleeve this and uh, hopefully that will um, that'll work nicely. Okay so I've got a cloth down to protect my newly cleaned lathe but I mean you should do it whether it's newly cleaned or not because um, graphite this stuff is graphite clay um, so it it's obviously got lots of um, other stuff in which is probably quite abrasive even though graphite itself is a lubricant. So we're gonna face it, drill it, drill a short distance for the thread, thread it and then we'll pull it out, part it off. I don't have an internal boring bar small enough for this, but I do have an old M6 tap, which is M6 by one, which is broken, so I can use the one millimeter pitch um, cutting edge to do the thread cut. Um, the lathe is set to do one millimeter, so all I need to do is feed that tool in um, and not crash into the end. This is the fitting, obviously slides in a little way because it's tapered and I would say that's probably good enough, there's a little bit, a couple of threads left but I'm happy with that, I don't want to go too far. Alright, let's part it off. So I'm just going to put this drill bit in, get the depth, so that hole is that deep and I'm just going to eyeball it. say we want an extra, I don't know, five millimeters on the end, doesn't matter if it's a bit thick, it's probably good. You can always turn the excess off, it's a bit hard to add it back on again. God, if only metal was that easy to machine. A nub on the end, perhaps we'll put, put that in very carefully and uh, tidy up this end. OK, 
Okay, so I actually took it down to 8mm diameter, um, which should speed things up quite considerably. It's only the very end of the sensor that has actually got the temperature sensing element in it. Once that temperature starts to go through, it's going to accelerate. I think that's um, going up quite nicely. Obviously you can't really put any sort of thermal compound in here or anything like that because it's just the temperatures involved are just beyond anything that would normally work. Um, yeah that's still still going up so that's uh, that's working a bit better. Alright I'm pleased with that. That should come in handy when I do a melt very soon. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.